Hey guys, Tim Little here with Tactile Bass, and this week I want to talk to you guys that are new to bass fishing, that are a little overwhelmed with the different styles of hooks. So today I want to talk to you guys about the differences and the benefits of each style. You know, a ball head versus a shaky head versus a football head versus a darter style head. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take each, I'll break down, break, break down each and the benefits for them, and uh, we'll go from there. So starting out, one of the most common ones you'll see is a darter style head. It's kind of got a uh, oval shape on the front, kind of a pointy end. Uh, obviously comes in a bunch of sizes, but uh, this is great for, for rigging worms on. You know, you thread your, your Cinco style baits on, your Robo worms, uh, any, of the, any of your favorite plastics. And uh, the reason this is a darter head, you got a 90 degree tie on here. When you hop it and stuff, it, it's, it's dancing all around. So it's, it gives a lot of action to your worm down on the bottom. It does have an exposed hook, so you're, you can catch up on grass, uh, rocks, whatever you're fishing, um, so you gotta pay attention to that. The benefit of going to a shaky style head, so same type of, of head, this one's got a screw lock on where you can screw your bait on and then rig this back into the worm, so now you're gonna be Texas rig and weedless. So now you could fish this in the same areas you'd fish the darter head, but you're, you're not gonna have the, uh, the snag in the grass, that sort of thing, issues. Uh, you're gonna have less action on a shaky head, um, but it's gonna be weedless. The next one, one of my favorites out here, is a football head style jig. You can see how it's, it looks like a football if you turn it, you can see. Um, same thing with the darter head style. It's, got, it's gonna have an exposed hook, but this has a wider presentation on the front, so it's really good for fishing through like rock piles. Uh, out here on in the west coast, you know, when fishing like do nothing bottom, like mud, this wider presentation when you're dragging it or popping it, it gives more puff in the mud, so it uh, causes more disturbance. So there's your basic football style head. The last one that I want to talk about is the ball head. Same thing, you're gonna rig it on just like you would your darter head or your football head. Um, but it's gonna have less action. This is very good in your cold weather months, uh, your winter, January, February, March, uh, when, the, when the fish are cold, the water temps are real, down, real low, and the fish are, you know, don't wanna move a lot. So this is gonna have a real kind of natural presentation, real dead action, um, just kind of for dragging the bottom. So that is your ball head. So real quick, you got your ball head, you got your darter head, same style of hook, you're gonna rig it the same way, but this ball head is gonna have dead action. It's not gonna be very, it's not gonna have a lot of movement on the worm versus the darter head, you know, it's gonna be real erratic, so you're gonna get a lot of movement. So two somewhat same style of heads, but uh, completely different actions. Now, the shaky head, same sort of thing. It's, kinda have, it's gonna have more of a dead action, but now you're gonna be Texas rigged and it's gonna be weedless. And then the football head, Great for fishing through structure, through cover, through um, rock piles, uh, anything that's kind of like a do nothing bottom. This I wouldn't recommend this for grass, but it uh, it does it adds adds more puff, more fluff when you're dragging through through the mud. So, anyways, guys, a real quick down and dirty from the four major styles of hooks. Again, football head, darter head, ball head, shaky head. Don't be overwhelmed, guys. Hope this video helps. Remember, hit the thumbs up, like the channel, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon, guys. So now I'm gonna move to the outside piling. And when I hit grass, I'm, I'm popping it. And when this, it's, 
It's like dragging something by a, a cat. They're not looking at the bait. When that thing rips through the grass and that thing pops up the fish, it's just an instinct. They eat it. So I don't think they care about seeing the braid. <laughs> I think that it's just something that triggers in their head. They're reacting. You're getting that bite. When you 